Hey, what's going on guys? Komaki Kings here. Last video we've implemented the very basic Nigamax search with the alphabet of Pranin and at depth of 3 it plays quite pretty reasonable chess, uh, bearing in mind that it doesn't have any move order or things like that. But if we have, uh, uh, if we try to set the, I'm oh, sorry, not here, if we just try to set the a car the fixed depth search to only one ply ahead, suddenly it would start giving the pieces away. And this is happening uh, because the engine can't see over the horizon of the fixed depth search. So in order to avoid this sort of a weird behavior where, where the engine might uh, give his pieces away, uh, we need to implement what is known as a quiescent search. And the idea behind the quiescent search is to search through uh, the position uh, deeper and deeper uh, by generating only the capture moves and evaluating all, only the capture moves until it reaches the composition. So uh, when nobody is about to capture the opponent's piece, that's the exact uh, that's the exact uh, time to evaluate the position basically. So this is the exact thing that was supposed to be implemented in this video. So if you're interested, buckle up and we begin. Uh, before before we start, uh, just one little more, just one little update on the previous source code. Uh, uh, it had uh, a little. No, I, I can't say this. This is a bug. I, I would say some sort of inaccuracy. For some reason, I don't know. I, I've been uh, mm, I've I've been incrementing the count of notes only uh, in here where the depth was equal to zero, but it didn't. Uh, but but this was wrong because uh, in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't actually capture all, all the nodes, so the right the right place to to, to put it is actually after uh, after this condition. Uh, so after the depth is equal to zero, and it, it was trying to return the evaluating uh, the static positional score uh, returned from the evaluate position function. So instead of instead of making it here, we just uh, drop it back right over in here. So this is an, an important update, and. Okay, so as far as I did say this already, now we can actually go implement in our quest and search. So the very first thing not to forget is actually instead of returning the evaluation uh, evaluate position, we'll uh, return the quest and search here. Let's just call this quest and like this. Copy and here we just define it. So this would be the integer function that takes alpha and theta is its arguments and here we pass alpha and theta whatever values are available at the time of we, when of we, when we're calling this quest and search and here the very first thing to consider would be to increment nodes count uh, and we just say nodes plus plus and again why do we keep tracking of the nodes also known as the uh, end position that we're traversing through uh, the idea is as far as we will start uh, applying some move ordering techniques the number of nodes will be reduced and uh, by tracking the number of uh, by tracking the value of the nodes variable we would be able actually to see whether our move ordering works properly or not well, at least this is one, one, one of the ways of how to distinguish this, uh, of how to how to track that. And now we need to uh, give a position, give a static static evaluation. Well, uh, literally just evaluate position, evaluate position. So something that we were doing uh, in the lead notes of the Nigamax right over in here. So I just create the eval variable that would be equal to evaluate position position like this and now uh, we do something very similar to what happens on this main alf alphabet part basically. So we can say that so first the case of fail hard beta cutoff uh, would be so if eval more or equals beta in this case we just return our beta and that's it because no uh, no need to calculate uh, further on because 
whatever we, we find would be the worst situation, the worst evaluation compared what, to what we have now. And the other case, uh, it's when the uh, alpha uh, alpha increases basically. So alpha increasing. So here we can say if uh, if evaluation is bigger is greater than alpha alpha. Uh, in this case, we need to say alpha equals to evaluation so we're just increasing our alpha by the current given evaluation until we find the best ever solution there okay so uh the next thing to consider so uh i will now grab almost the entire code from the nigamax search because it does almost kind of the same with the one little uh with the one little uh difference there so just until here, I guess. Yeah, copy. And I'll, I will now quickly walk through the code again. So we're generating the move list, just like in the Nigamax search. And then uh, creating the move list, generating moves to populate the move list, looping over the, uh, over the list of moves, all the same, preserving the board state. But here, instead of doing all the moves, we want to do only captures. And only captures is a flag that flags uh, the make move function to make only those moves that have a capture flag within the encoded move integer being uh, available or turned uh, to one. So we, we look for the specific uh, bit uh, being encoded within this move variable. Uh, with a, uh, so move is, is the type of integer. So the entire move, like from square to square promoted piece, this is all encoded as an integer and we have four flags there we have the capture flag which we're about to be keeping track of just right now by if, by specifying this only capture and then we also have the double pawn push flag canceling flag and peasant capture flag and oh my god i forgot what else so capture capture uh double pawn push in peasant and castling right it's four up, up to four flags there but uh, but those uh, more regards to kind of mood generators so it doesn't really matter that much regarding the search so we need to make sure that we're making only captures here and this is the implementation dependent stuff that i personally consider it as as an option okay so uh we don't need uh we don't need our mm, illegal moves count because we're not about to be tracking uh, made in the questions, well, at least for now. And here, instead of uh, Nigamax, I'm oh, sorry, uh, I just want to uh, use this questions, and we don't need any depth here. Save, uh, increment and decrement and fly would still work. Uh, yeah, this would still work because we'll be using flies to keep track of some move order and stuff like killer moves and history moves so this th th this is still on the cards okay so the beta cutoff is the same and we don't want to associate the best move uh, with the best score anymore in, in here so this should be this should be enough so I just try to make it again not only capture but only captures in plural okay alpha defaults to int beta defaults to int obviously and if you're a python developer like i am and uh, <laughs> coding too much in python on your daily job you often to forget you often forget to, to give a type to the variable it's to the variable name you see this happens well, okay guys, so now it compiles, and if I did everything correctly, so just let me close the arena and try to open this, restart it again, so to uh, so so the engine would be reinitialized within the arena. I think, well, if I did everything correctly, this should, in theory, uh, give, uh, give us a reasonable play even at the depth of one. So I just hold my breath and try to run and let's see. Oh my god. Uh, 
Uh, I did something horribly wrong. <laughs> it doesn't give away pieces, but it doesn't care about the evaluation. Okay. Oh my god, two arenas. What a, what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on? Well, I guess this is not the reason, obviously, right? Yeah, so... Just hold on a second, I need to check my code. Uh, what, what what did I miss there? Oh my god, uh, oh my god, guys, su such a shame on me. Obviously, I forgot to return the alpha at the very end because <laughs> we didn't increase our best move, and eventually <laughs> we forget to return this back. So, let me just recompile the source and restore the arena. And yeah, now this. From the take number two, hopefully this should work really. So, uh, okay, no, not the icon, but executable, please. Okay, okay, new game. Okay, now this is absolutely different game already, even though it's got quite pretty poor chess, but still. Only assuming that we're playing at the depth of one ply head, so it doesn't evaluate the responses. And see, like this is reflected that it didn't even capture the uh, recapture the queen initially. But still, the idea the idea that it stops giving his pieces away, and that's that's actually what we wanted to achieve eventually. That's that's kind of the goal. But now let me introduce uh, another issue that we are starting encountering from this point. And as far as in the middle game, the number of positions uh, with the possible captures is growing exponentially. Uh, it starts slowing down the search significantly. So without the move ordering to uh, increase the probability of beta of beta of beta cutoffs to cure, the search uh, is getting as slow as hell. So if it just uh, if it just try to adjust the level back to three half moves and you remember at the very beginning of this video if you don't remember just switch back to the beginning and see that how what, what the speed was on the depth three and if it just uh try to well it actually plays a slightly different position uh but again you see like it starts thinking too long when when it when it goes to the captures uh well maybe at depth three it's not even seen that great yet but if we increase okay you see like with the capture occurs and it starts thinking longer already and just wondering why he doesn't made here oh probably that, that, that was a check yeah that's the reason so you see like when the capture are about to cure on board it starts thinking really longer because it takes uh, time to uh, it takes time to accomplish the quest and search but already uh, and, and also obviously it, it changes the behavior of of the engine so it evaluates positions already assuming this that quiz and search results so only evaluating this uh, only giving the static evaluation to the position in that uh, in that case in the case where when uh there are no more captures available uh in the current position the on only evaluating the com positions where no captures available so uh if we just uh adjust our d depth slightly a bit more to say depth four now you will see how slow it starts being basically so you see like already it starts thinking really really long because too many nodes are uh, occurring along the way and that's that's not really that great so that's just what i wanted to show you so uh the next uh next uh Mm. Uh, steps basically are on 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 this Nigmax uh, algorithm with the alphabet of prana it would be to start actually improving our move ordering and it would do two things basically so it would reduce the number of nodes so you see like 12 million, million nodes is too much and uh, uh, due to the cutoffs it might uh, alter the behavior of the engines sometimes it's so just well, just it's it's better to show it's it's way easier to show and demonstrate rather than to explain. So, I uh, hope to see you next video when we would be when we would start implementing our uh, move ordering stuff, and then 
uh, I'll try to demonstrate what, what what I mean basically. And the very first uh, and the very first thing we'll kickstart with would be implementing uh, the logic of scoring the capture moves using the MVVLV heuristics, which is also known as most valuable victim, less valuable attacker. So that means that most like when pawn captures queen should be evaluated before the moves like queen capture spawn and in between uh, and, uh, and within these bounds uh, we will need to order the move moves respectively and uh, I'll be using the simple array to show you how exactly this is gonna be working actually so uh, see you next video guys and until then basically so take care